Yo boys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. And I'm a bit salty today. I am a bit salty. My salt levels are off the fucking charts because I, I looked online and there's some news that they're trying to pass a law which is going to ban memes in Europe, in the European Union, which is fucking ridiculous. They want to ban memes. Now, if you don't know what a meme is, it's just, it's hilarious. It's like, it's a picture from something famous, famous film, famous TV show, and it relates to something what's happening right now, and then they will write, let's say, a funny couple words over the picture, and it makes you fucking laugh. If you don't know what a meme is, God damn it, do yourself a fucking Google search and look at fucking memes. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 You are terminated. <laughs> Now, someone commented on one of my videos saying, Harry, how do I feel that you're not going to be able to use um, memes in Europe? I said, get the fuck out of here. What the fuck are you on about? I thought this dude was just taking the piss. If someone comments on like lots of my videos, quick Google search, and they're actually talking about banning fucking memes. Now, lads, this is worse than the net neutrality case over in the US. I mean, the UK is soon to leave the EU if everything goes to fucking plan. We finally leave. This law won't. It won't apply to us, but the countries that are still in the European Union, shit boys, we need to stand up for them. This can't go ahead. The, U the US might follow this. Other countries might follow this. If this law gets passed, tons of other places are going to implement it, which is what I'm scared about the net neutrality situation. I'm scared UK ISP providers will start doing that shit as well if they start throttling speeds and charging more money for certain content. This is the same way this meme situation is going. And it's like the people who want to ban memes are old 70 year olds who've been memed to fucking death. They're now on meme patrol, so they're patrolling for any decent, salty, sweet memes, and they just want to ban them. They want to ban them outright. They don't want people to laugh. They don't want people on the internet to enjoy themselves. What the fuck is it? If we see memes going forward without copyrighted content in, because you can't use a fucking picture from a film which is um, copyrighted, that, that, that makes no fucking sense. You can use up to 20 seconds of music and you don't have to disclose it. But yet you can't use a fucking picture from a famous film or famous TV show. Anything that's classed as copyrighted content. That is fucking ridiculous. It's free promotion for that film, TV show. Whatever the fuck it is, the person's getting free promotion or the company's getting free promotion and we're making something funny at the same time. Tell me how that's wrong. You bastards. No, no doubt, lads, this is some old people trying to ban this shit. There won't be anybody from our generation. If there is, then fuck you. How the fuck can you live with yourself if you ban memes? No, if you ban memes, I hope your kid grows up and resents you. If you're about, I don't know, let's say mid-30s and you've just had a kid, I hope he grows up in 10 years or she and calls you a wanker for banning memes. You ruined a full generation, you son of a bitch. You suck. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. So we can't avoid drama in everything online now. So we've got social justice warriors changing us games. We've got people trying to ban memes. We've just had net neutrality. What the fuck is it? Leave us alone. Why do you want to shut down everything we enjoy? What is it? They're just against the so-called millennials. Cause that's, what, that's what they call us. Anyone who was born from 84 to, I think, 2000s class as millennials. It makes no fucking sense. Why the fuck are they wanting to... They want, they want to ruin the internet. They want to charge us more money for it. They want to ban memes. They want to ruin video games. And I'm here to ask a simple question. Why? Why are these fuckers trying to do this? So let, let, let's get a bit more in-depth, lads. Let's, let's analyse it. Let's have a look. Let, let's see the reasoning behind these sour bitches trying to ban fucking memes in the European Union. Let, let, let's have a look. And they wonder why people in the UK wanted to leave the fucking EU. They control everything that everybody does who's a member of the European Union. I, I can't express it enough, lads. I, I'm pissed. Memes, memes are a way of life, boys. I mean, if memes get banned in the UK or EU, we're not going to be able to see PewDiePie's uh, meme patrol. The fuck am I going to do in my free time? He does, like, meme reviews every week. That'll be gone, there'll be no more PewDiePie meme reviews. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm not quite sure where to start this, so we're just, we're just going to start on this, we're going to talk about it, then we're going to move on. So, this is this is the article, an EU copyright law, friends to kill memes for everyone. It's just educating us, you know, it's a, it's a US website, or Canadian website. So then, I found this other article. 
and it said how a meme has become the next generation political cartoon like what the fuck are you on about so i clicked on it and it's written by shelly um the middle-aged coffee morning mom i mean she's not got no experience in memes boys i don't Oh, you Canadians. I thought you were such a peaceful people. But now, now, now millions of people are going to read this, or hundreds of thousands are going to read this article. And most likely, let's be honest, they're going to be middle-aged people with similar views to Shelley, um, similar political views, and they're going to think that memes are political statements. And that's not going to help this going forward, boys. That's not going to help it at all. I mean, just look at the background. 14 years as a Maritime Bureau Chief of the Weather Network. I mean, she, she knows fuck all about memes. She's never seen the Pepe meme. She's never seen the Steve Carell meme going, No! 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 She's never seen the Ricky Gervais meme of, Ooh, you're hard showing off because of the, the camera. Ooh, you're hard showing off because... They're not political statements in, in, in the least bit. She's probably seen somebody who's another middle-aged person Probably posh shared a meme of a picture of Donald Trump's face with a stupid statement of what he said, and then she's interpreted it as meaning political statement. No, bitch, educate yourself. I bet she had to ask a fucking kid what a meme was. These middle-aged people ain't gonna know what memes are. They're asking the kids, oh, Jimmy, 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 what's what's a meme? Okay, mum, I'm glad you asked. And then he'll, he'll get two words in before she interrupts him and says it's a fucking political statement. And these people are the influencers. They're the fucking influencers behind this bullshit wanting to get banned. And if it gets banned in the European Union, then trust me, boys, it'll spread. This copyright law will spread as if we don't have enough fucking copyright laws. People threaten to sue you for using, like, five seconds of their fucking clip under fair use. It's happened to me, like, three fucking times. This will just make everything fucking worse. I might use a meme halfway through my video, and then my video gets taken down on copyright grounds. It's fucking bullshit. YouTube don't need anything else to fuck us over with because they're fucking us over with everything they've fucking got. And we've got bitches like this saying it's a fucking political statement and she knows fuck all about memes. I mean, if you want, if you want to know about memes, ask the meme expert. Ask one of my viewers. Don't ask fucking Shelly Steves who knows fuck all. Boys, it's, it's getting me. I am now triggered. I'm not going to lie. Memes are Memes are a way of life on the internet and with them banned, What's going to be on Imgur and all these image websites? They're literally known for memes. They literally make profit from memes. This is going to affect a lot of fucking companies, not just the people. Companies are going to lose money because some of their websites are just based on memes. I mean, Reddit is like 30% articles and 70% fucking memes, boys. It's going to damage them. Do these fucking idiots not understand this? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're on the main article right now. They're not biased, they're literally writing this from a non-biased standpoint. So they're basically standing for memes. When, if, if they get banned, then you can't use pictures, you can't use short clips, you won't be able to use shit. I mean, this is what memes are going to look like going forward. We'll have to fucking draw them out and they'll still find grind, grounds to strike us on. I guarantee it, they do it on YouTube now. If you impersonate someone, you can get fucking copyright strike for that. No fucking joke. Can't get sensed if you don't use copyright material. I mean, Grand I uploaded a video the other day of um i am number one with fucking squiggles instead of robbie rotten because you don't want to get striked i mean this is what this is what living in the european union is going to be like after this yeah, it, it, it's fucking crazy it is crazy it's censorship at its finest people who use memes are just giving promotion to that certain uh tv show that certain film i feel like idubs now i feel like i need to content cop the fucking government they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They really don't. If this law actually gets passed, I give up. I'm never going to meme again. I mean, look, we, we know and we all love that. I mean, my eyes are watering, boys. We all know. We love this meme. Uh, you usually see it. If, if a PlayStation gets a sick game, you'll see you'll see the woman as Xbox, and you'll see the bulk as PlayStation. You'll see PlayStation 4 exclusives on her face. The memes work great. You can reuse a meme. There's no... There's no stopping how many times you can use it. You can use it over and over and over and over and over. It changes with different events and different games launching and different things happening on the internet, which is why a meme is fucking great. The Ricky Gervais office meme 
started over 10 years ago, boys, and it's still used now. I still use it in some of my fucking videos. Ooh, you're odd. I mean, it's, it's just a fucking sick meme. If this gets passed, then fuck me. The internet has just become a fucking duller place. Lads, trust me on this. I didn't believe it when someone commented on my video. I can't believe this is actually could happen. We didn't think net neutrality. We didn't think that would get passed, but... I mean, we didn't think the law would get passed where they can charge as much as they want on certain websites. It did get passed. It's all about money, lads. That is what this is all about. Money. Money, money, money. Every single law that gets passed now regarding the internet and regarding things that we like, the so-called millennials, it's all surrounding money. It's always about money, and they're just fucking us in every possible way they can get. We need to stand up to this shit, boys. We really need to do something. I don't know. Let's spread the word. Let's get bigger YouTubers to make videos on this. I don't know if PewDiePie's already made a video on it, but let's get the biggest people, the biggest influencers to make fucking videos on this. We're just getting shafted. We've got SJWs, the net neutrality bollocks, and now this. What do they want from us, lads? Boys, that's all I'm going to say on this subject. There's nothing else that can be said. It needs to be stopped. If this Article 13 gets passed and they ban the use of copyrighted things for, like, memes, then fuck me, I've lost my faith. I've lost, my, I've, lost, I've lost my faith in humanity if this bullshit happens. Anyway, boys, if you did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know you support me in the comment section down below. Again, if you didn't enjoy it, hit the dislike button. Uh, follow my social media platforms. They're all linked below. Let's, let's stand together on this bullshit. I love you all, and I will see you all in the next one. These girls want to tie a kid down and keep me around. But I would never change. I'm a dog, I'm a hound. But I tell them what they want to hear. They like how it sounds. Till I'm gone with the wind and I'm lost, never found. I met her at my show, then we smashed right after. If we go three rounds, then she fall in love faster. Very next morning, I'm Casper in another city for a